Wait, what? One-legged bedside tables? Impossible. What's up guys, I'm Greg and I am going to show you how to build these one-legged modern bedside tables. This is the part of the video you want to pause right now and take a screenshot. So this is all my wood already cut to size, so let's get building. So I have my two longer pieces of pine timber that's going to form the legs. Cut both of these legs at a 30 degree angle. Right. We have the two shorter pieces of pine that's going to form the support for the larger leg and you want to be cutting these at a 30 degree angle not in the same direction but in the opposite direction now for the fun part joining these two pieces together you want to be making sure both of your pieces are sitting flush with the surface then you want to be marking out the angle from the smaller piece to the bigger piece this will be the angle I'm going to pre-drill all my holes and countersink them for these two pieces to be fastened together. I had a hard time joining these two pieces together, so I built this quick jig to make it easier for myself. Screw at the back and two screws in front. Now the legs are done, let's start building the box. To start building our box, we need to take our 300 by 300 MDF and our 400 by 300 MDF boards. If this is your top part of your box, we need to join the side from the bottom and not from the side. When it comes to joining all your wood together, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can either use a normal screws, you can use dials, and in my case, I'm going to use a nail gun. Before we even start building our box, we need to take our bottom piece of our box and join it with our legs. The measurements for these two holes you have to drill, I'll put on the screen now. And by joining these two pieces together, I'm using an M12 bolt with a sharp point, 80 millimeters long with a very thick washer on. It's going to look like this. Now we will see there's only four pieces of super wood left. Two larger pieces and two smaller pieces. This will ultimately form the inside of your box. The larger piece needs to be glued and nailed, in your case maybe screwed, on top of the back piece which is the smaller piece and then this needs to go inside your box. Don't get confused with the box. Keep your left hand side box left, your right hand side box right. The holes we drilled previously in the MDF board, the right hand side box, the holes will sit on the right hand side and then the opposite on the other side. I'm finished installing the inside pieces. Now I'm going to move on to sandpapering the boxes. However, I am going to use wood filler to close all the small holes the nail gun made. can install a drawer system but that's not the style I had in mind that's why I'm going with the hinged door system I 
we'll be using a can spray paint white and the primer is already inside the paint. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Please help me reach my goal. Subscribe and share this with at least 700 of your friends. So while the boxes are busy drying, I'm going to give a coat of clear varnish on these legs. Everything's done and completed. Now it's time to assemble everything together. And this is what you will need to assemble everything. Help me grow my channel, like, subscribe and share this with your friends. You won't find this bedside table on... So when we join them to... Oh my soul!